Welcome to the Daughters of Esther, Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. And part two is coming up for the four sources of wisdom. In part two, you will be listening to the earthly, sensual, and demonic wisdom, which is from beneath. And of course, the fourth type of wisdom, which is from above, which is from God. So the presenters will be Sonia and Dovey. And I'll see you the next time. God bless you. Tune in and listen. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. Last week, we began our three-part series on wisdom. And last week, we spoke on asking God for his wisdom. This week is our second um, session, and we are going to speak on wisdom not from above, which is earthly, sensual, and demonic wisdom, which really isn't wisdom at all, <laughs> just to be honest with you. Okay, so earthly and sensual and demonic wisdom, James 3, 14 and 15, it reads, but if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be arrogant and so lie against the truth. This wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but is earthly, natural, and demonic. And that, with that scripture, it's so powerful because it's speaking on your heart, the nature of your heart. When you're bitter, jealous, and you're being selfish, it tells you don't be arrogant or lie against the truth thinking that you know what you're doing or you're making the right decision because that is not the wisdom that comes from the Lord. It's earthly, natural, and demonic wisdom. It's based on the flesh. It's based on our mm -hmm. carnal nature. It's based mm -hmm. on the world and what the world does. Mm -hmm. And the world does not operate in God's wisdom. Amen. No, and um, one of the stories in the Bible, there's a verse in there about King Saul. And when King Saul was not doing things God's way, he knew the presence of God, the protection of God was no longer on him. Mm -hmm. And what did he do? He didn't ask for God's wisdom to handle this. He asked his people to seek a medium, which mm -hmm. is a psychic, yes. for wisdom and direction. And that was, it, it, it was definitely the wrong thing to do. It was not um, something that God wanted. And when he went to the medium and they recognized him, oh, they, 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 and he tried to disguise himself. Yes, he did. And, and she was like, uh, I know you, King Saul. Yes. Why are you coming here? Now you're going to have God punish me. Mm -hmm. And he says, no, uh, you know, he promised that God would not punish her because she knew, mm -hmm. although she was worldly and she went, w did demonic things and she was, um, tapped into darkness, mm -hmm. she knew well enough that God was not going to be pleased with that. That's right. God was not going to be pleased with that. And she had the wisdom to not even want to help him. Yes. Until he assured her that nothing bad was going to happen to her. Mm. You know, and the outcome oh. for King Saul was not a good outcome. He's asked, he's speaking to, what, who did he bring up? King, King uh, Samuel. Yes. And Samuel was like, why are you calling me? <laughs> you know, God has left your presence. You yeah. know this. And um, I think when he did that, he, I know he made the situation worse for himself. And sometimes when we seek, when we may have done something mm. and asked for and, and sought earthly wisdom, demonic wisdom, our own carnal a way of doing things. God just wants us to repent. Amen. He knows, he already knows before you did it that you would do it. There's mm -hmm. going to be times when we fall and we may go by our, our flesh and, and all these things like that. But look at your heart. Why are you operating in a worldly wisdom? Are you being selfish? Is there bitterness? Is, is there jealousy? Mm -hmm. Instead of moving into that place, or maybe even if you did, and you are in a place of, you know, guilt or shame, God doesn't want us to walk in guilt or shame. Repent 
and use those things as a to expose mm -hmm. what's in your mm -hmm. heart yes. so that you can give those things to God. Ask him for his wisdom mm -hmm. on what part you need to do in regards to getting your heart right with the Lord so that you will seek his wisdom and not go by your own wisdom or the worldly wisdom. And, you know, even in that, when we do seek our own wisdom and, mm -hmm. and, and it is incorrect, God brings opportunities for us to repent, like you said, yes. for us to repent. And he'll even turn it around for Amen. the good yes. as long as we repent with that. Yes, yes. And I believe if King Saul would have repent, he may not have been able to be king. I'm not sure what the result would be, but he would have had his heart right. Yes. with the Lord just by repenting. But instead he made the situation worse and worse and worse. See, when we do things in our own wisdom or the wisdom of the world, then we make the situation worse and worse. But thank mm. God for his grace mm. and his Amen. mercy. Like you said, yes. when we turn that thing around, repent to God, ask him, God, yes. will, give me your wisdom. What is it sh that I should do and do what he tells you to do then he will use that situation for your good and he will strengthen you. He will yes. build you up. He'll build your character up in that area where you may be, you know, still mm -hmm. where the enemy still has a little bit of access to yeah. if you're bitter or jealous towards someone. So that's a, with that, I'm just going to stop it for this and we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back and we will continue on the wisdom of the world, which is selfish and demonic. Join us every Tuesday at 5 p.m. for Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We're going to be speaking on different topics because we know that Satan comes to steal, rob, and destroy. And the Word comes to heal, deliver, free, bless, prosper, all these great and awesome, wonderful things that we should be experiencing and we should have now because we are seated in heavenly places and when we begin to receive it by faith and then we know that satan's what satan's best, best just, just not good, not good enough. enough thank you for joining us back on the second half of wisdom not from above and this is earthly and sensual and demonic wisdom again this is a three-part series the first part we spoke on, it was asking God for wisdom. Tonight we're talking on wisdom, not from above. And next week we'll be speaking on wisdom from above. And the three-part series, again, is on wisdom. Amen? Amen. So with that being said, Devi, this is the fun <laughs> part. I love it. I want to know what she has to say. <laughs> Please share a time where you sought your own wisdom my own wisdom or a wis wisdom from another mm -hmm. and the unnecessary pain and struggle it it brought to you well there's a whole bunch of them <laughs> <laughs> give us a good I one mean, real, real good juicy one <laughs> i mean you know uh, that's how we learn and grow you know is when we realize when we try to do things on our own without oh, yes. God's wisdom and, and selfish desires yes. and selfish wants and, and things happen. But um, there is this one time, and, and, it, and it's pretty big, and, and it, it uh, took me a long time to repent from it. But what it was is when Katrina happened down in New Orleans, um, I was watching TV, TVN, and there was this organization on there saying that they needed help. Okay, and I, I know I heard the Lord to say, I want you to go, I want you to go and help. Mm -hmm. So I said, Lord, I will, but you've got to touch my husband's heart because I can't, you know, I, I, he, I have to get his uh, uh, approval to go because yeah. I was going to take a week's vacation and go and all like that. So I prayed and I waited for God's wisdom and timing to yes. talk with my husband, okay? Yes. And so we were out to dinner, and I told him what I know God put on my heart, and what I wanted to do was going to take a week's vacation and go down. And he surprised me and said, well, why don't you wait until such such time, and I'll go with you. Oh, amen. Which was awesome, right? Wow. Well, it was really good. And so we went down. We went down, and we stayed that week. And then um, we decided 
Now, at the time, we decided that we were going to come back with everything that God showed us, showed us that it w we were going to come back down and stay longer, stay longer. Now, it took me a long time to realize my timing is not God's timing. My wisdom is not his. Right. I said, okay, we're going to sell the house and we're going to move down here. Okay, and so my husband was in an ag in agreement, reluctantly, reluctantly. Oh, yeah. So it took us a few months to get. There's a long story behind that, so I'm trying to make it shorter. So we came back home after a week, and we started getting things together. We started getting things together and uh, packing the house and this and that and the other. And so my husband was reluctant. But mm -hmm. I just knew, <laughs> I just knew that's what we were supposed to do. And um, so about five months later, we uh, packed our trailer up and we went down and we put the house up for sale. But while we were there, I mean, the reason we were there was all good. Right. We were there helping people. Mm -hmm. My heart wanted to help people. But it wasn't. God's timing mm -hmm. for us to live there. We were looking for houses to buy. You know, we were fixing up houses and we were um, helping people pass out food and clothing and, and just helping, you know, and we were down there for 14 months. And within that months, when we first went down, we were helping, we were doing everything God told us to do. But in my how do, enthusiasm, in my mind, selfishness, I thought this is where we need to be permanently. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we want something bad enough, we will, we will shut down the voice of God and just know with what we go with, mm -hmm. you know, right. well, I'm doing a great thing. This is what we're doing and, and all like this, but God in his infinite wisdom, he will help us. Um, he will help us because what happened was we had sponsors while we were down there. And the sponsors started dropping off. So we had nobody sponsoring us. By the time, uh, by the 12 months we were down there a year, we had one sponsor. Oh, and we wow. still had bills to pay. Mm -hmm. We still had bills to pay at home, a mortgage and all like that. Cause, and our house never sold. Wow. And so uh, a few months later, we had to go back home. We had to go back home. We didn't have jobs. Um, we had to get new jobs and everything else. But it wasn't God. God told us to go. But in my wisdom, I was saying we needed to be there for the year. We were, when we got down there, we wanted to live there. So our desires took over. Mm -hmm. We were still helping and doing everything good and everything. But our, my desire took over to live there. Wow. My excitement. Yes. You know, and all like that. And, um, and but God, God showed me. He told me, no, that's not my wisdom, that's your wisdom. Yes. I didn't tell you to move down here. Yes. I told you to come down here, and I just took it and ran with it. It took me a while to really come to, uh, um, how, do, how do I want to say it, to really come to the realization that that was me. Mm -hmm. You know, because once I realized what happened, there was a conviction Okay, and in my enthusiasm and um, earthly wisdom, um, God was trying to tell me it was incorrect, but I wouldn't listen, you know. Oh, wow. So, but as I said before, even even when we are wrong, when we do the wrong thing in our own wisdom, um, God gives us the opportunity to repent. And he'll he'll bless us afterwards. Yeah. So he did. We we were able to keep our house. We got new jobs mm -hmm. and all like that. But because of because of my natural nature, you know, and mm -hmm. what I wanted and and what I thought and yes. you know that was earthly and sensual. It was not God's wisdom. Right. But I thank God that He loves us enough to pick us up yeah. and put us right back on the path. Yeah. That's an important thing. That's, that was that's amazing testimony, because a lot of times that selfishness we may not see that selfish ambition because we are doing something mm -hmm. like we're serving people, we're helping people, and it can be easy to do at times if we're yeah. not careful. And the the amazing thing about your testimony was one you 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 
you said you didn't ask for God's wisdom about <laughs> staying there. She definitely did that. I didn't hear her do that. She didn't do that. So she, she was moving. She was, she was My moving. My desire was overcoming. She was moving out 14 months. But the thing was, for 12 months, mm -hmm. even though she was not in God's perfect will and his timing, mm -hmm. he was keeping them. Yes. He was keeping yes. her. And that's what is so amazing about God. Mm -hmm. He will keep us even when we're doing things not in correct. his own wisdom. He did that, but he taught her, you know, that make sure you ask me for my wisdom. Mm -hmm. And what good, what, the, what's so good about God, not only him keeping us, he knows our heart. Mm -hmm. He knows that you wanted to be a help. You wanted to do the right thing, you know, and and that was to me just shows how good and faithful our God yes. is, even when we are not faithful, mm -hmm. you know, and um, that leads me to um, doing things on my own way. And it has to do with picking the wrong mate because mm -hmm. I've done that several times and God will turn things around. He will even bless us, mm -hmm. even when we're not doing things in his wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, with his, um, his perfect timing. Yes. It, we may be getting the wrong person, you know, and I'm not saying divorce your husband, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> this was when I was, um, I dated, uh, and I'll just say one of my daughters, uh, uh, her father, you mm -hmm. know, and I wanted a child so bad. And I thought because I had an abortion before um, with my first marriage, I couldn't get pregnant. Mm. And I didn't really have a relationship with God, but I knew about God. I didn't understand about Jesus or anything like that because I went to church. So I knew like bare minimum stuff, mm. what they teach you in Sunday school, you know. And so... I knew certain times to pray. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to pray in the name of Jesus or anything like that. But what happened was I was thinking because of the abortion that, and I couldn't have children in my first marriage, that it was a punishment oh. that I would never be able to have kids again, you know? And I was pretty young. I was like in my twenties. And so when I met one of my daughters, uh, uh, her dad and she wasn't born because my first child is my son and he's 31 now that I wanted a child so bad. I wanted a child so bad mm. and I ended up getting pregnant by him. Mm. But <laughs> this is like, I'm saying the grace of God, it got bad, mm -hmm. but God still kept me and he turned it around. And although he, he, he ended up being abusive. God still protected us. He always had a way for us and protected us. Mm -hmm. And all that time I was doing things my way, mm -hmm. didn't ask mm -hmm. for wisdom, didn't know to ask, mm -hmm. you know, now mind you, I, I wasn't saved, but even then, mm -hmm. because he knew me and he knew that I would receive Jesus as my Lord and savior, that he was covering me. He, his Amen. wisdom will still, and his faithfulness, he will still cover us in that. Mm -hmm. And so now, I mean, my child's a blessing. He will, he will use everything for our good. She is such a blessing. I don't Amen. regret, Amen. you know, the, the decision that I made. I don't regret any of the decisions, even though, you know, I was in a lot of dysfunctional relationships. But being where I am now, it helped mature me. Amen. It helps strengthen me and in, in my trust and my faith in the Lord. And a lot of times, you know, if you are making decision, if you're in something where you're working on your own wisdom, mm -hmm. don't give up and don't think that it's the end or, you know, whatever circumstance or situation or consequence that you're dealing with because you've done it your mm -hmm. way, that that's, that's the end for you. No, because as a child of God, he knows what uh, future that he has for us. And it's always for our good. It is always for our well-being. Mm -hmm. And he will always turn it around for our good. Mm -hmm. So even with, with Dovey and sharing her testimony, she knew the Lord. She knew to call on him. 
And he graced her and her husband he did. For, tw for 12 months, yes. kept their home because mm -hmm. he knew they, they needed it. That was mm -hmm. a place. We can do things for the Lord in our own heart mm -hmm. and, it, and it's not be bad, but it may not be where he wants you to be. Exactly. It may not be what he wants you to be in. So we have to do things um, in his timing. There's That's always correct. a timing with the wisdom he gives us. Yes. Just like the one, uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember if it was a prophet, where the God sustained him, the birds feather, uh, fed him. He had, he had, you know, water there, but then the brook ran dry. It was time for him to go. Elijah. Elijah. Oh, there you, thank you. He had to go. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times God will have you. God put it on our heart to go there. But then when the, when God's timing was up, he needed her to go back. Amen. Amen. So that's what I love that. That was such a good testimony about that. Yeah, and and about the favor of the Lord. It, it took a long time for me to, to really admit and bring that out, mm -hmm. you know, yes. um, because like I said, you know, that I felt bad and a little ashamed, but God took all that away from me and I started really listening to the word of God. <laughs> yes, yes. God's wisdom. Yes, and her, her husband already was reluctant about it. So when she got it, he's like, okay, yes. <laughs> right? He yeah, like, he, just went, he went along, you know, Aww. because he really loved what was happening down yes. there, you know, and he loved me, you know, yes, so, yes. and and I was the one that was saying, well, well, God told us to come down here, so this is what we're supposed to be doing, you know. And he's like, okay. <laughs> I love it. So we have I to be very that. careful that it's God's wisdom and not our own selfish desires. Yes. Oh. And see, and that's also a testimony to God, because like in first, the part, um, part one that we did last week for, was asking for God's wisdom. When we ask God for his wisdom and we operate in his wisdom, mm -hmm. it affects us and affects others. Yes, it does. So that's a testimony to your husband. Amen. He sees what it looks like, mm -hmm. you know, when we operate in God's mm -hmm. wisdom and when we don't operate in God's wisdom. Amen. So then encourage him to seek God on what to do that's in correct. situations. Amen. You know, and you've shared many testimonies of when he has done that. Oh, yes. You know, so <laughs> Throughout my marriage. That, yes, thank God. <laughs> and, and our children, too. When our children or, you know, whoever is in our life sees us, you know, operating God's wisdom. Like, because my children learn now. My girls, yes. I have four girls that I'm raising that, and I share with them the wrong decisions I make oh, about yes. choosing the wrong mate, mm -hmm. not being with uh, someone who loves you, as Christ loves That's the right. church okay. and they're there, you know, my oldest daughter, she's very, she's very mindful. I'm not going to have any children. So I'm married. I'm <laughs> like, you know, she's, she's, she's she has the wisdom of God because yes. she sees what happens when you don't operate in wisdom. Amen. And that's how it affects because I operate in God's wisdom. Most of the time, I believe I do. <laughs> they see that much more and now then, than before. Yes. Right? Thank you, God. Thank God. Yes. Then they know this is what I need to do. I need mm. to ask God what I need to do. And, and, you know, in school with relationships, you know, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff Amen. like that. Yes. And they'll make better decisions than we did when yes. we were their age. <laughs> and that's what it's about for them not to go through the things that we went through. And they, Amen. they basically, you know, walk the plan and that road, it's a narrow road, but it's a, it's the right road of what God says to go there in Amen. God's direction. Amen. Amen. Anything else good you want to share? I, I think I shared. <laughs> you shared enough? Okay. So with that being said, we are going to close it out for this evening. And I just wanted to encourage you once again, if you have found yourself in a situation where you clearly have not asked God for his wisdom, or perhaps like Dovey said, you were afraid to ask him because you knew the answer wasn't going to be what you wanted to hear. Well, do not be discouraged. I encourage you this evening or this morning, whenever you're listening to this recording, that it is not the end. Amen. As long as you have breath in your body, God is waiting. Repent, ask God for his wisdom and follow his direction. You should not feel shame or guilt because Jesus died on the cross so that we may have life, have it more abundantly, that we can be reconciled with the, the heavenly father that we have. 
and that we can turn things around. He has given us grace. He has mercy on us. He is faithful. He is good. He is all knowing. He knew you was going to do it before you even did it. And he knew that you would come to a place of repentance, that you would turn around and that you would be obedient. Ask him for his wisdom because he knows when we operate in his wisdom, we will have a God result, Amen. a good result and a result that will not only bless us and have us in a place of peace, but will also affect those around us. So do what you got to do. Ask God for his wisdom and turn that thing around. Amen. Amen. So we thank you again for joining us this evening for um, wisdom, not from above. Join us next week and we will be speaking on wisdom that is from above. Amen. God bless you and have a great evening. Amen.